Welcome back legends, I'm down here at Fletcher Park again and today I'm answering a question about what we should be thinking when we get bogged down as a batter. Someone contacted us and said what sort of things should we be thinking so that we don't get negative towards ourselves when we're bogged down and we're finding it hard to score and it's a great question. Now I think as I've mentioned in previous videos, other videos and you guys who have followed us for a while know that I'm a massive believer in the power of our mind and understanding and managing our thoughts. If your mind isn't serving you, if it's hindering you, you're gonna really struggle to perform at your best, okay? It's almost impossible to. So you've really gotta understand and manage your thoughts so that your emotion and therefore your physical skills can then perform at their best. So when you get bogged down, it's easy to start to think, come on, you've gotta get on with it, you're letting the team down and you start to get frustrated with yourself. It's really important that you stay calm. One of the best ways to do that is by just taking a deep breath. And it's really important that you try and stay in the present moment. If you're trying to correct what happened a few balls ago or you're worrying about scoring 10 and over, that is only gonna hinder you from performing and playing at your best for the next ball. As a batter, the greatest skill or the best thing you can learn to do is be in the present moment and really give your full 100% attention to the very next ball and not dwell on the past or worry about the future. You can't change anything but what's happening right now. So even if you need six, seven, eight, nine, ten and over, you can't do it all in one ball. All you can do is try and do your best for that ball. So when you're frustrated, when you're getting bogged down, all you can do is your best for the next ball. You can't let whatever's happened in the last over, two overs, ten overs, you can't let that carry into your next ball. And again, it comes back to your mental routine. It comes back to where you're putting your attention. And then it's just about backing yourself. It's about trying to look for the ball that's in your zone. It's about trying to maximize your strength, not take a big risk and do something silly. It's trying to put that ball away that is in your zone when it's in your zone. And when it's not, it's about getting off strike. One of the best ways to not get frustrated is when you're off strike, is get off strike. Be at the bowler's end, take your time, take a deep breath and try and switch off. That's when you can really switch off, let your partner do what he needs to do, or she needs to do, and then you can just relax. And then when you're back on, when you're back on strike, hopefully you've calmed down a bit, hopefully because you've scored a single the ball before, you're a bit calmer and you can just then execute your shot. But the most important thing is to stay in the moment, try and not get let that negative thought run away, so try and Chop it, cut it off, put your attention into something positive. I'm playing well, I'm calm, I'm in control, and really try and let that positive thought, that positive thinking, which transfers into positive emotion, sort of focus on that rather than the negative thought. The negative thoughts will always be there, you just gotta try and not focus on them. So guys, don't panic, take a deep breath, and just either get off strike or look to put away that bad ball when it comes. Hope you've enjoyed this video.